The Housewives of Atlanta, Season 5, Episode 13. I think it's making ass out of a donkey booty or some shit. Bitch, we've been, we have been dwelling on this donkey booty bullshit for the past five fucking episodes. And really, it's getting tiring. Okay, we can move the fuck on. Really, it really is, bravo. Let's move on to a different storyline. Oh, I'm sorry. You guys don't have any other storylines, so this is the only thing that's fucking interesting at the moment. Now... This is my very unpopular opinion because my opinion of this episode or this season period seems to not be the opinion of the majority of people who watch it. So please, if you guys are tuning in to watch me weigh in on Miss Kenya Moore, you might want to hit the X button. If you guys are tuning in to watch me, you know, talk, wax poetically and talk really good about Miss Phaedra Parks and um, Portia um, um, Stewart, you might want to hit X because that's not going to happen. I'm sorry. Out of all the people this season, Kenya is the only one that's kept me interested in this show. You have to love to hate her. And honestly, I feel like this is how I feel about Kenya Moore. Kenya Moore, when she was accepted this role, she took it for what it really was. It's almost like the production had a conversation with her before he even started filming and said, look, bitch, we need ratings. We got rid of Sheree Whitfield. We need fucking ratings. Nene ain't really having it, this, you know, these past couple of seasons. So, and Kim is on her way out. So, we really need someone to come in here and act like a damn fool. And you know what? She took that shit to the fucking bank, honey. She rolled, when she took that advice, and she rolled the fuck with it, okay? And that's how I feel. I feel like Kenya is kind of, um putting forth the other castmates' phoniness. Because instead of me focusing on Kenya and her antics, because I've already clocked Kenya. Kenya's acting. That's not really her. I really don't feel like it's her. Instead of her clocking them, instead of me clocking her, I'm clocking them. Because the rest of them bitches have turned out to be, to be very fake to me. I'm sorry. Phaedra Parks is the fakest bitch in, on this show. I, in my opinion, she really is. Now, mind you, have we all forgotten that bullshit and, and foolery and buffoonery that she pulled back on season three about her pregnancy? I'm sorry if it's really dark in here because the lighting is messed up. Have we all forgotten that bullshit? Or is it just me? Let me see if I can open up a window a little bit. There we go. Have we all forgotten this bullshit or is it just me? Seriously, I want to know. I'm waiting. I suppose we did. And mind you, you know, she was, you know, she was kind of gimmicky and she was kind of like, you know, really, she, she was kind of gimmicky, she was kind of funny, and you know, season four, we were like, oh, okay, Phaedra's cool, whatever, whatever, but I never forget. See, my thing is this, I can look past some bullshit, but I never forget. Phaedra's a fucking liar. She's been caught in her lies not once, but twice. And so, really, Phaedra needed to be read for filth by Kenya Moore. Mind you, Kenya is no saint. First of all, you don't do business with friends, period. Especially when you're not really friends, bitch. You just met your fucking co-workers. So you're not really friends. You don't do fucking business. And you do not do business with anyone without a contract already present. I know, Kenya, you felt like you had a good, you know, you were thinking as a businesswoman. So you went ahead and thought, like, oh my God. I have these producers or these investors who want to go ahead and do mass production on the Donkey Booty video, so let me go ahead and jump on that. But a smart bitch would have been like, you know what, you guys, can you hold that thought? Can you please hold that thought? I'll get right back to you. Let me go talk to Miss Phaedra. Phaedra, do you want to do this? Um, I have a production company who's willing to put you in mass production. Um, you know, and we, you know, they want to make a deal with you guys, but I, if I do this, I'm going to need a little bit of back end because, you know, basically I'm, I'm like the co-producer. So I'm going to need a little bit of a back end profit. Oh, you're not going to do that, girl? Okay, fine. That's fine. But, you know, no, Kenya, you, your ass went ahead and started making the negotiations and started putting your foot forward with it. And the shit did not go through like the way you wanted the motherfucking go through. So that's boo-boo on you and that was your fucking fault. You should not have been that pissed at Phaedra because the bitch never even said in the first place that y'all that she wanted you to do that. So I'm going to weigh in on you about that, Kenya. But, sorry about that, guys. I guess the video is going to continue to be dark and 
Sorry, I'm just gonna look like fucking Nestle Snipes in this video. I'm sorry about that, you guys. But anyway, so, you know, mind you, I'm not really that upset with Kenya. Um, as I was thinking, I'm not really that upset with Kenya coming out with the stallion booty thing because here's how business works. And this is me personally. If you go back to the same investors and say, look, she backed out of it. We had business negotiation failures. She backed out of it, and we're not going to work together. And they say, but I'm still interested in that concept, so what are we going to do? Bitch, get your coins, ho. Get your fucking coins and say, okay, what should I do with it? You know, everybody else saying, acting like they would not do the same damn thing. Bitch, as Phaedra said, we weren't friends. Like, we weren't that good of friends anyway. That's what Phaedra said, right? Am I wrong? Or am I wrong? Phaedra did not, did she not say that? I'll wait for it. People, I, you know, I hate when people have double standards. When you guys, when a lot of fans, when you're fans of somebody on a reality show, or you fans of a certain celebrity, we'll talk about that, like the Beyonce situation. And I'm away on that in, in the next video, like the next, next video. But in the Beyonce situation, when you guys are fans of somebody and there's a double standard, okay? You, like... And everything that somebody else does, if somebody else does the same thing, it's a, it's it's horrible. It's shady. It's shicey. It's trifling. But when you're the your idol, the person that you're idolizing, the person that you're a fan of on this show or, or the celebrity or whatever does does the exact exact same fucking thing, it's fine. There's excuses behind it. There's this. There's that. It's like seriously, really. Okay, I'll let you have that. I'll let you have that, but I'm not I'm not playing that game. I'm not playing that Monopoly game. You're playing fucking Monopoly. I'm playing Clue, bitch. I already know who the murderer is in the kitchen with a fucking knife. Okay? So don't play with me. Um, But seriously, though, the donkey booty, first of all, the donkey booty tape, it ain't even nothing to be desired anyway, bitch. So don't even, Paige, don't even sit here and act like, Oh, Lord, don't even sit here and just act as if it was all, it's just such a great, wonderful idea, bitch. Who's going to buy that shit? I saw that show on Amazon.com. You know what? I'm not trying to play her. I hope that she has a successful uh, run with it. But just being honest, it's not a marketable name. Who would want to buy that? And as I said, people, I know you guys are probably like, damn, he was going in on Phaedra, but... This is my unpopular opinion. Phaedra is fake, and I don't like her. And you know what? I used to go in on Nene back on season three reunion when she was calling Phaedra Fake-tra, fake tra and was saying like, oh, you know, you know, Phaedra, you know, is fake, blah, blah, blah. And I said, Nene, you sound like a hater. Well, she still sounded like a hater, but now I see where she was coming from because, bitch, you've been caught in lies. You've been caught in lies, and everybody is just like, Trying to act some kind of way about it. Your husband Apollo do not look happy in that re in that relationship. I'm just going to be real with you. He do not look happy. So everybody's trying to act some kind of way like, oh, well, you know, Miss Phaedra is good. Miss Phaedra is this, honey. Like, she's just 10, 10, shabam, and she really ain't. She really isn't. You have a scrub for a husband, sweetheart. Sit your ass down. Taking money, taking cash, money deals, bitch. I got your number. I got your number. You, oh, she's one of those bitches that act grand and at the same time, nothing that has the nerve to say, Miss Kenya, who did you produce? Which is a good question, but bitch, don't go, don't throw glasses in a stone house. I mean, don't don't throw stones in a glass house. See, I can't even talk. See, I missed that fucking pun. Don't throw stones in the glass house, honey, because while you asking this bitch who the last person, what's the last movie she produced, let me ask you, who's the last person you represented? Ooh. Girl, who, who'd you represent last, Phaedra? Uh, Sheree Whitfield. G bye. Girl, bye. Anyway, moving on from that. Portia. I want to like you. I really, really do. I really want to like you. And I like how you be reading Kenya. You be, give, you be reading Kenya for a fucking filth. You said, bitch, your feet is ashy. And I believe that Portia is a real person. But she's, in a, she's a real person in a fake-ass situation. And, and I've said this before on other reality shows about people. 
and how they react in fake situations. You can be a real person, but you're thrown into a fake and fraudulent situation where fraudulence is all around you and you don't know how to fucking act, honey. And Portia, she was real. I just, but I do live for how Portia Red King is. But at the same time, bitch, you need to realize that while you, while you are so trying to get in the in crowd with them other bitches, they laughing at you too. They've been playing you since they first met you, Portia. That's why I said I want to like you. And you're on the bandwagon against Kenya, which Kenya did that on herself. She she put that on herself. But at the same time, Portia, you need to wake up and smell the roses, honey. They be playing the fuck out of you. And I hope you're watching this shit at home. And it's like, oh, damn, they made me look stupid. While you sitting there blinking, you like a fucking animated cartoon character sitting there blinking like, like, seriously, bitch, seriously, just really get a clue. Portia, get a clue. But... As I said, you read Kenya, you read Kenya boots, so I, I give you that. I really do. And Portia, I commend you for that. But like I said, I want to like you. There's just something that's not quite clicking with you yet that makes you want to like you. Maybe it's this weak-ass storyline, or maybe it's your gay-ass husband that clearly only married you to cover up his latent homosexuality. And I'm so sick of seeing little previews of him telling you to check, bitches. Please stay in your lane, sir. Husbands let their wives deal with other women the way they should deal with other women. You, For you to get all up in that and be like, oh, you need to check that bitch. You sound like the gay best friend. Nah, seriously. Check her. Check her. Cordell Stewart. No, check yourself when you was getting head in public parks and bathrooms from dudes. Ooh, you didn't hear it from me. So, moving on to Cynthia. <sighs> I, I wanted to like you, Cynthia. I really did. You was giving it to me this season. You was giving it to me this season. In the beginning to the middle, you was reading bitches. You read Phaedra. Uh, you made Phaedra apologize, basically. You, I mean, you was really going there with people. But then, you had to be two-faced. And when you saw the opportunity to be two-faced, you reminded me of how much of a weak-ass bitch you really are. And you backed into being weak because when you had your problem with Phaedra initially and then you and you had your problem with Kenya initially too and then when Kenya had problems with Phaedra you want to team up with Kenya against Phaedra bitch that's foul that is so fucking foul and are we supposed to just imagine that all of a sudden that all the problems you had with Kenya are just resolved like somebody just you know it's just whoop, disappeared Cynthia, girl, please revert back to the way you were at the beginning of this, se this season as sassy, strong, and giving it to him. You, all this instigating shit that you're doing, bitch, you are really looking filthy and a tad shady. Mind you, your hair, your makeup, and your body is slayed this season. So I, I, I give you props for that. You look at, you working it, bitch. But at the same time, you being shifty and shady. Let me move on down to Candy. Let me move on back to Cynthia. First of all, Look, why the fuck did you hire Portia to help you out and ask Portia to sing at your pageant or whatever? I don't know if you asked her to sing at your pageant, but you and you asking somebody to help you, but you shading them at the same time. You know what, uh, Cynthia? Somebody need to really cuss your ass out. I can't wait for somebody to really cuss your ass out and read you for filth too. Cause bitch, you trying it? You really trying that shit? Okay. Get into it, okay? Get your fucking life and have a damn seat, Cynthia. Because you know what? You're doing the most. And I'm guessing, I'm supposing, I'm assuming that you're trying to secure your spot on season six. Because let's face it, bitch. Bravo, at Bravo Andy is not playing. He is not playing with these shows no more. He is dropping bitches left and right from different shows. So you, if you ain't bringing it, if you ain't making it pop, bitch, you ain't making it pop, 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 he is drop, 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 dropping your ass. So y'all need, y'all, I'm guessing, I'm assuming that that's what you're going to do. That's what you're trying to do. You're trying to secure your spot. Okay, because the Bailey Agency must not be doing all that. Especially since when you're doing something for charity, and I, I really didn't like that either, Cynthia. You, you doing your little pageant, this little pageant and shit for charity, but at the same time, the way you was talking about it, you was kind of like, oh, I'm doing this for charity, but not before I get my fees, though. 
Now before I get my fees, how does that make you sound? And what charity would want to work with you after you said something like that on national fucking TV? My, we bitch, we know you're going to get your fees. We know that you are going to get paid. But at the same time, you know, don't be saying it like that. When you, I know Portia said that about, you know, oh, all the proceeds are going to the charity. I know Portia said that, but you could have checked her off camera. You didn't have to say that shit on camera and make yourself look ratchet. We all know that you and Peter are scrambling for as many coins as you need to get. So we're not going to go there with that fucking 40-year-old bottle of wine and shit. Or 40-year-old bottle of spoiled-ass wine. That cheap dollar store shit. Anyway, moving on along, moving on along to Miss Candy. I'm not, saying, I'm not really happy with any of these people on this season. I'm not happy with any of these women. They're all acting very simple. Candy, I really have no problem with you this season. I mean, you're not really in the shit. You got your man. You got your, your family. You know, your, 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 your daughter, Riley. Candy's daughter, Riley. Mm. So I don't really have any problems with you, you know, and I feel you. But my thing is this, Kenny, I know that you and Phaedra are, you and Phaedra are homegirls, but at the same fucking time, bitch, you need to learn how to still stay out of shit. First of all, you co-signing with Phaedra and jumping into arguments between Kenya and Phaedra is going to end up getting your ass cussed out. There's nothing that I hate more than when I'm arguing with somebody and that fucking sister, family member, friend, or whatever going to come in from the side and start putting their two cents in it. Bitch, who asked you? Who rung your buzzer? What you say? Well, I'm just saying that clearly when you made your booty, when you made your booty, when you're, when you're making your booty video, it's a diss to her. No, bitch. First of all, you're not, you don't have nothing to do with this situation. Log out, delete. Log out, delete. Okay? Thank you. So anyway, back to you, Phaedra. Okay? I just love how Phaedra was cussed out. Um, I, Candy just, and I clocked Candy's tea back last season, I feel like she is, uh, uh, she knows how to fucking play the fence, she is wishy-washy, she's as wishy-washy as fucking, uh, Cynthia's trying to be right now, um, Candy's perfected it, and, um, honestly, I just, to me, Candy, she just needs, you need to stop, stop with the fucking drama, bitch, like, seriously, you really need to stop. Stay out of it. If it has nothing to do with you, don't be weighing in and putting your two cents in shit. Because it had nothing to do with you. That whole situation. That was between Kenya and Phaedra. Please stay out of it. I know Phaedra is your girl, but at the same time, while they're sitting there arguing about it, do not jump in. Because that's going to get your ass popped in your damn eye. It happens in the hood all the time. Don't jump in shit if you don't want to get your ass whooped. Period. So, and I... Y'all probably looking at me like, Big Zoe, you are really out of line. But I'm so serious. Like, that's how I feel about this damn show. Like, I, I'm just not feeling anybody on this show right now. I really am not. This, ugh, I'm not. I'm really not. So, Miss Lawrence, girl, that makeup. Child. When I saw Miss Lawrence in that late makeup and how he was looking this episode, I was like, I just wanted to sing a Negro spiritual. I was just like, hmm, 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 Just made me bust out Negro spirituals. That's all I gotta say about Lawrence. Um, I think Lawrence caught the tea um, right on Phaedra. I think that Phaedra is, like I said, I've been fed it. Phaedra's very fake, and I think that people are attacking Lawrence on Twitter, telling all this shit about him and what he was thinking about Phaedra. But I feel like Phaedra is, she, I mean, he was just he was just saying what was what everybody else should be thinking. Phaedra is very fake. Mind you, this is a business deal going bad, but I feel like Kenya had a right to clock Phaedra's tea and say what you want to say about Kenya and that at the end looking fucking ridiculous. The bitch knew she looked ridiculous and she did that shit on purpose. So I was just kicking and laughing when I saw her in that damn bathing suit with them butt pads in the end and that big ass floral hat or whatever. I was just like, oh my gosh. Because 
Phaedra did that shit earlier this season in Anguilla coming downstairs wearing that damn suit with her booty looking all extra fucking nasty. That shit looked nasty to me. Everybody talks about, ooh, that booty was so delicious. No, bitch, we don't know what's up between them cakes. That's disgusting. Put it away. Mind you, Phaedra's got a big booty, but it has no jiggle to it. Did anybody notice that? Her butt has, like, no jiggle to it. It looks, like, hard as fuck. I don't know. I'm not saying that her booty is fake. I think I don't think her booty is fake. I know it's not. But her booty has like no jiggle to it at all. I mean, when Apollo put his hand on it, ooh, Apollo. I'm sorry. When Apollo put his hand on it, I was like, oh, okay, so he can put an indent indenture in it. But I have not. I have yet seen her booty shake. But anyway, um. Yeah, Kenya, you know, and I, and I liked how she cussed Phaedra out in the end. Because Phaedra, bitch, you were talking on this shit. Mind you, I give Phaedra props for saying, yeah, I did say that. I did say that because she knew Cynthia was sitting right fucking there. And she knew Cynthia was probably the one who told her that shit. Or she knew one of them bitches told her that shit. So she was like, yeah, I said that, girl. Because she knows she would have denied that shit. Somebody would have been like, um, uh, yes, you did say that shit. Yes, you did say that shit, Phaedra. So you had to, you had to admit to that. We all know you like you you prone to lie. We all know you prone to lie, Phaedra. We all know you prone to the to deny shit when you know you said the shit. So anyway, when Kenya read you for filth, I I I was over it, you know. Phaedra you know, people, and people are tweeting, talking about, oh, Phaedra kept it classy, but not, you know, shouting back with Kenya. But at the same time, Phaedra is not classy. She is not classy to me, and I just feel that way about her. She's, there's nothing classy about her. Just because somebody tends to, up oh, reference to Mariah Carey, just because somebody is acting like this and smiling, doesn't mean that they're classy. It means they know how to act in front of a fucking camera. Now, Ken, Kenya was acting ignorant and belligerent, Okay? And she was acting unclassy too. But that doesn't mean just because Kenya was acting belligerent and Phaedra was staying quiet that Phaedra was the better of the two. Because Phaedra was, was saying that Kenya was drunk and just slamming her name. Phaedra, mind you, you say, you always say you don't like to gossip and talk shit about people. But you steady have done this shit for the past couple episodes. I'm guessing you're trying to secure that spot for season six too. Girl, bye. That's all I gotta say about it. I mean, it's not an in-depth. <laughs> it wasn't an in-depth review, but it's just it's kind of overall because I haven't reviewed any of the episodes of this season, but I have watched all of them. But I haven't reviewed any of the episodes, um, so I wasn't gonna do an in-depth interview, a uh, review about this damn season. I mean, about this damn episode. <sighs> Let me restart that. I was not gonna do an in-depth review of this episode. Simply because I haven't done a review of all, any of the episodes before that. So it's just kind of my overview of how I feel of the girls, period. And um, I'll review next week's episode as well. Um, I think after this season goes off, I think new uh, Real Housewives of New Jersey is going to come back. Or Real Housewives of OC is going to come back. One of them is coming back. Um, and I'll review one of them bitches. I don't know. If it's New Jersey, I'll review it. But that shit... I, I don't really care for Jersey because that shit to me is just sad. That whole, that whole, that that series, that series is sad to me. I just don't like it. So anyway, this is Big Soul 20, you guys. And if I miss anything, if I miss anything, you guys can think, we can, we can discuss it in the comments, okay? So that was my review. Thank you, you guys, so much. Love you.